Hi, I'm here to talk about the D5600. This is an incredible little camera. Very small, very lightweight, fantastic for being out and about in scenes like this. So we've got all this great sky, we've got this heather, uh, I've got the lake and the reservoir here as well with the old buildings. Great camera to take on an adventure like this. It's 24 megapixels, it shoots five frames a second, 39 focusing points, it's got a wide ISO range, ISO 100 up to 25,600. The best thing on this camera I really love is this variable movable touchscreen. This enables me to do my compositions really easily. Whether I'm shooting up here and I'm looking down, whether I'm low down and I want to get a more elevated composition. It just worked brilliantly. The camera also shoots full HD video. So I can actually shoot some really nice video via the touchscreen as well. It's a great all-round camera. Have a look at it. Won't disappoint on situations like this. So one of the things we're looking here at the D5600 is touchscreen focusing and composing via our LCD screen. I've got the LCD screen flipped out here. This makes my composition really, really easy. I've set the camera here by touching the touchscreen on. So when I touch a point on the screen, it will focus and then shoot at the same time. So that makes it really easy there to touch and shoot. And I've now got my image. One of the other things we can do with the D5600 is use our info button to change the display on our screen. By changing the info button, I can go from a minimal shooting data to lots of shooting information, telling me about my focusing mode, my white balance, the picture control, and I can still see my shutter speed and aperture and ISO. Rotate that round, and I've now got my video settings. I've then got a clean image, and I've also now got the grid, which enables me to compose with rule of thirds or level of horizon if I find that useful. With the D5600 touchscreen capability, I'm in aperture priority mode here, and all I need to do to change my aperture is touch this button here and now I can move my aperture up and down. It's as simple as that to change my aperture. If I was in shutter priority, I have the same capability here with my shutter speed and I touch that button there and I can move my shutter speed up and down accordingly. Makes it really easy to change your settings on the fly as you're working out in the field. Another great feature on the D5600 is the ability to use SnapBridge. So once I've shot my images, I can transfer them over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to my smart device, be it my tablet or my phone, and I can then instantly upload to whatever social media platform I'm actually using and share my content in real time. So it's got an amazing feature there. SnapBridge is really, really good to share our content and get it onto social media in real time really easily from transferring it straight from your camera onto your smart device. So with the touchscreen features on this camera, this is also really easy and very, very simple to migrate, say, from a tablet or a smartphone. If you're upgrading from one of those, you'll be very familiar with the operation of the camera. We've got pinch to zoom, swipe left, swipe right. Uh, all the controls like shutter speed and aperture are controllable via the touchscreen on the LCD panel here. So it makes it a really great camera to, if you're just getting into and want to explore more about photography and really take your hobby into a new direction and improve your image making.